Hi, everyone, and welcome to Discovery Days with the Oklahoma Hall of Fame and Gaylord Pickens Museum. We're so excited you guys are here and can't wait to get started. We want to take a quick moment to say thank you to our sponsors with the Chickasaw Nation and the Inasmuch Foundation for making free family programming in 2021 possible. All right, as you guys know, this is our museum located here in Midtown, Oklahoma City. We absolutely love this museum and love that we get to share it with all of you. We have lots of fun new programs and exhibits coming your way this year, so make sure to come down and see us. Our mission is to tell Oklahoma's story through its people. So every day we work really hard to share the inspiring stories of Oklahomans with all generations because we believe that Oklahomans are changing the world. So our Oklahoma Hall of Fame member feature today is Mr. Sam Noble. Like his father, Sam Noble served in the U.S. Navy before returning to Oklahoma to attend OU and then becoming the leader of the Samuel Roberts Noble Foundation, which was named after his grandfather. The Samuel Roberts Noble Foundation helps to improve agriculture, education, and much more in our communities and around the, and around the country. Under his leadership, the foundation donated funds to help the Sam Noble Museum of Natural History. And our reason that we connected it today is the, uh, now the Museum of Natural History, the Sam Noble Museum, has some awesome, awesome stuff that we think is so much fun to see. My favorite thing that they have is a dinosaur. So we're gonna jump right in with some other fun creatures with a story called Peanut Butter and Jellyfish. I'm gonna go ahead and share this so you guys can see my story as we read along. All right, so this is the story of peanut butter and jellyfish. Peanut butter and jellyfish were the best of friends. Best of friends who spent their days exploring up, down, around, and through their grand ocean home. Do you guys see that sunken pirate ship? How cool is that? Unluckily for them, though, they lived near Krabby. You guys swim like humans, he would taunt as they slipped past. Peanut butter and jellyfish did their best to ignore the heckler. Did you hear something, asked jellyfish? No, must be the current, said peanut butter. Krabby was relentless. You guys smell like rotten barnacles. P.U. My grandma called. She wants to run walk shoes back. I've seen snails swim with more style. What a bunch of bubble heads. Abby doesn't seem very nice, does he? Jellyfish puffed up his chest and said, driftwood and sea stones may break our bones, but words will never hurt us. You're an invertebrate. You don't have any bones, huffed Krabby as he marched along his favorite rock by himself. Krabby just looks angry, doesn't he? One day, as peanut butter and jellyfish set out and on an excursion to the Great Reef, they swam past Krabby's perch. They braced themselves for the usual insults, but all was quiet. Then they heard the faint sound of sobbing up ahead. It was Krabby. He was caught in a lobster trap and it was being lifted to the surface. I'm scared, he cried. Surely he was doomed. Should we help, asked jellyfish. The two friends shared a look. He is in serious trouble, said Peanut Butter. You're right, we have to help examine jellyfish, but how? I have a plan, said Peanut Butter, follow me. Look how determined they are to help him. They swam up to the lobster trap. Peanut Butter used his tail to unlock the trap's gate, but Krabby didn't budge. Come on, you've, you're free, said Peanut Butter, but, but I can't swim, confessed Krabby, and I'm afraid of heights. The lobster trap was getting pulled closer to the surface. Uh-oh. Plan B, exclaimed Jellyfish. He worked furiously on untying the trap's knot. Hurry, cried Peanut Butter. I can see the fisherman above. Just what? Just when all hope was lost. Do you guys see his hand right there? The fisherman's hand? Uh-oh. The knot gave out, sending the trap plummeting. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish grabbed a hold and lowered it to safety. Krabby's legs wobbled as he returned to his favorite rock. Thanks, you two, he stuttered. You know, I'm sorry for saying those mean things, Krabby said. He may have been afraid of heights, but Krabby was brave enough to apologize. I guess I was jealous. You guys seem like you're always having so much fun exploring the open water. Well, there's plenty to explore close to the ocean floor, said Jellyfish. Peanut butter and Jellyfish still swam up, down, around, and through but it was on the ocean floor that they found their greatest treasure. You guys think their greatest treasure was the treasure chest or their friendship with Krabby? I bet it was their friendship with Krabby. 
but what a fun story about two friends that weren't afraid to step up and help someone when they needed it and about someone who was brave enough to apologize when they knew they said something wrong. Okay, guys, well, we're gonna make our own jellyfish today and they're gonna look a little bit like this. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We'll need a smaller, a small paper plate. If you have a big one, that works too. I put it upside down so it's kind of puffed up on the top. Okay, now we're just gonna empty our craft kits here. Okay. So I'm gonna set all of my ribbon aside here for a minute and my two googly eyes. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all of my supplies out, some crayons, I might need those in a little bit, and some scissors and a glue stick. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue on my paper plate. So that way I can glue all of these, all of this tissue paper down. So I'm just gonna do the center of it first. Just like that. And if it dries and I need to go back and add more, I can. So I'm just gonna lay all of this out. And remember, there's a couple of different ways that we can do our tissue paper. So you can lay it out flat like I'm doing, or you can also kind of scrunch it up like that and then flatten it out a little bit so it's got some texture. So however you wanna do it. I'm gonna lay mine flat, I think, at least in the center part. Maybe I'll do something different on the edges. All right. So after we get this all laid out, we're gonna use our, we're gonna use our googly eyes because our jellyfish needs to see, right? I'm even gonna draw a smile for mine Add a little bit more glue here since I think my glue is drying. Okay. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna put, go ahead and put glue on the edges too. I'm gonna do it one edge at a time. Add some more glue on the edges here. What do you guys think my ribbon is gonna be for? Any ideas? Tentacles, that's right. Our jellyfish needs tentacles so it can swim. Okay. Almost done here. Add some more glue. Okay. So once we get this done, we come back. Okay, I'm gonna put one more piece right there. And I'm gonna set all this aside. Now I need to put my googly eyes down. So I'm gonna take my glue and put a little bit on the back of each googly eye. Okay, and my second one. All right, there are my eyes. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit before I give him a smile, even though I know he technically doesn't need it. I think it's better that way. Okay, so now I'm gonna glue on my tentacles. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the back side of my plate where I want each tentacle to go and then just lay them down like so. All right, and yours, your jellyfish can have as many tentacles or as few tentacles as you want it to. Got 
Got a couple more here. All right, this is my last one. Pull that on, perfect. All right, so now he's got his tentacles. So I'm gonna go ahead and give him a smile. There we go, just like that. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop sharing this and hold this up so that way you guys can see my jellyfish. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I had so much fun with all of you and I can't wait to do it again next week. Bye.